Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no! Getting himself into trouble again. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, earlier today, I was asked, probably by a Destiny fan, on a panel that I was on, whether I thought that Destiny was a transphobe. Okay? No, this is not fake. Um, let's see if we can find it, actually. Let's see if we can find this right now. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's do it. Let's do our double checking, because I was sent this, and let's find out. Let's find out if it's true. He might have deleted it already. Let's find out. It's real? Is it real? Oh, do we got it here? Uh oh! Stinky! Huh. Hello, I use neo adjectives now. If you're talking about me, please describe me as fey intelligent, fainsome, feared, working, etc. This is literally the one joke. It's the one joke. It literally is the one joke. Wow, it's the one joke. My god, the one joke. Um, yeah, cotton 4K. Damn. Something that you should do with people like uh, like Destiny is you should always get screenshots and archives. It's always a good thing because they will lie to your face in the future. Um, and I hate it when people lie like that. Oh, I fucking hate that shit. Don't you? Don't you just hate it when people lie all the time? Well, guess what? I got a problem. Oh, I'm sorry, Vermin. I, I got to yell about this. I know. I know. But I got to yell about this because, you know, you know me. I'm pretty fucking tired of Destiny. In basically every way that you can imagine. However, there's something I'm particularly tired about Destiny, uh, about with Destiny. And one of those things is, let me see if I can lay this out, okay? All right, give me a second here. Let me just see if I can lay this out for you. And you know what? Fuck it. Today is one of those days. We're going to have a smoke while we do this, okay? Because I got to talk about some stuff, all right? So, for those of you who don't know, um, oh, cool, okay, let's check. Let's take a look. Nice. Nice, Destiny. Okay. Let's talk about this, okay? Yeah, the fucking hug. Good to see you, Vermin, by the way. Sorry, you gotta come back to this. Did anyone see his debate with Lance from the Serfs? That's what we're going to talk about, okay? That is indeed what we are going to talk about, okay? Now, many of you may have mixed opinions about the Serfs. Personally, I think Lance is great. Lance has been very kind to me. Um, I don't think he's like some kind of perfect person, but Lance is a person who is involved in a lot of charity efforts. Now, you may not know this, but there has been a lot of drama between myself and Destiny in the past. Okay? Um, and when I say there's been drama, what I mean is that Destiny has gone on numerous unhinged rants about how he wants to, and I quote you, he wants me to die and disappear off the internet. He wishes my career would disappear into the dust. He believes that I am a, a danger to trans movements and to women's rights and to all, every progressive policy out there. So let's just say that my history with Destiny has been particularly unpleasant, okay? I have never had a good experience with Destiny, ever. I mean, I had fun in our first debate. I certainly did. Um, I, I had fun bantering with him. But that was before he went on, an, on numerous unhinged rants. And guess what, everybody? Do you want to know who got name-dropped in his debate with Lance? Do you want to know who? Any guesses, anyone? Who got name-dropped in the debate with, with, uh, with Lance? Huh? Yes, it was me. It was me. He used me as an example of uh, somebody who uh, he thinks should not have a career. Nice meme. Oh, nice meme. So let's just say 
I wouldn't say that there's been drama between me and Destiny. More like there's been a basically one-way road of Destiny constantly saying the worst things possible about me and his insane fan base constantly lying about me. Constantly. I would not say that there's been a sort of drama. There's been this sort of mostly one way. And I've critiqued Destiny, but I've never gone on some like unbelievable rant about like how he's the worst person on the planet or should be deplatformed. In fact, I've been very adamant in saying that I don't think that he should be deplatformed. I don't really think that he should. I don't think that's good. However, what I will say is that I think that it is we are at the point in time where we can say that Destiny is doing measurable harm to a lot of genuinely good causes out of his own ego and spite, okay? And I'm rather tired of it, okay? I'm really rather tired of it. Um, and, you know, how do I sum this all up? Because of Destiny, I mean, fuck, like, I could just show you DGG. If I look up my name on DGG, the shit that these people say about me, you know that they have all been called, what their their newest thing is to call me a pedophile? They're, they call me a pedophile, um, and they lie, by the way. I've done this a couple times just as, a, as, a, as, a me, as an exercise in, in a sanity check of going and reading what they say. They say, literally, they just make up things that I said. And when they're challenged on it, they downvote bomb anybody that disagrees with them. Even if that person is posting the actual truth, they never look at the source. They never find out if I actually said the things that these fucking people say about me. And it is very annoying. And now I've gotten to a point where I don't really think at almost ever about like the opinion of DGG. I've recognized, it took me a long time to realize this because I don't know, I tried to behave like a like a healthy person. But um but uh DGG is so unhinged and uncharitable to every single person that they talk about that destiny doesn't happen to like um that it really does borderline on some like like almost like slavish um absurd fandom. And sometimes you know, I would argue that calling a trans woman, uh, telling a trans woman and, and their audience, uh, uh, telling your audience that a trans woman hasn't thought about gender enough to transition, which he did about me, for those of you who don't know, um, would be enough. You'd think that him literally going online and saying, I faked a Nazi raid on my, uh, on my 10K celebration stream, which resulted in us getting bombarded with um, an unfathomable amount of hate and having to lock down our Discord, you would think that that would be pretty bad. I think that's pretty bad. But you wanna know what's even worse? When you tell, is YouTube chat getting raided right now? Of course it is. Oh, of course it is. How cre how interesting. Oh, thanks, they're saying ugly, and I quote, ugly troon. Oh, cool. All right. Let's let's put hey everybody. It's time to go back to members only mode. Fun fun thing. If you want to be in the chat, come to the website. It's much better. All right. There we go. Getting raided again. Wow. Imagine how that works out. Woohoo! Wow, that's a lot of people saying that. By the way, I know how hot I am. I have more girlfriends than you will ever than you will ever have. I have more girlfriends than you will ever see girls in your life. So fuck the right, fuck right off. This is what we would call, yeah, demon mama derangement syndrome, unironically, like unironically. Um, and you know, the things that were against me are one thing, you know? Um, you know, th that's one thing. I have a reason to be mad about those. You might consider me biased or whatever, okay? However, there are some things that I think cross the line. And I want to show you one of those things, okay? I want to show you one of those things. Mm-hmm. 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 No. Let's let it load, shall we? Love you too, Fawn. Directly funding. Now, he deleted this. 
which is interesting. Destiny constantly deletes his things on Twitter, and the reason why he deletes them is so that he can lie about them, so he can pretend that they didn't happen. What I am trying to show you here is that Destiny is actively not just malicious, but also disgustingly dishonest, okay? Directly funding terrorism, yikes. Now, for those of you who didn't watch the Surf's uh, debate with Destiny, I highly recommend it. It was an interesting watch, okay? <coughs> but for those of you who don't know, uh, or, or for those of you who haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it. And for those of you who did, I think you'll be able to tell me if I'm giving an accurate report of what happened in the debate, the recent debate between Lance and Destiny. What happened was that Lance entered the conversation very frustrated about the fact that he has been publicly accused by a very high profile streamer of directly funding terrorism. As it turns out, for those of you who don't know the context, The serfs have had a lot of issues, a lot of very unfair issues. Did you know that the serfs lost an entire channel due to false reports, due to YouTube false report trolling? As in, they permanently lost their a channel and had to rebuild it, okay? And, oh, he called him a dishonest piece of shit. Oh, what an insult. In addition, the, the serfs have dealt with a on their current channel, a number of, of, uh, of strikes, community strikes that are fraudulent. That's pretty bad, okay? The serfs have dealt with a lot of unjust bullshit, okay? Whatever you think about Lance, whatever you think about anybody's debate things, this is a problem, okay? And if you are a streamer and you're a public figure and somebody accuses you, which Destiny did do, Destiny did accuse them of directly funding terrorism. That's a pretty major accusation. And again, we've had our fights, we've had our disagreements, but I feel like this goes beyond the pale, doesn't it? Do, do you really think that I'm wrong to say that this goes beyond the pale? Because I don't know if you know this, but being accused of funding terrorism can seriously damage your career. It can seriously damage your credibility. And what's even worse is that the entire reason he was doing this was not because of any genuine concern, but because he wanted to stop money from going to a charity. Because it was the serfs, who he doesn't like, who was doing it. And I don't know about you. But that, to me, seems like an unbelievably harmful level of, of pettiness that actually harms good things. I would hope that we could agree that raising money for a charity that is going to ultimately help children is a good thing, regardless of who's doing it. And they probably we probably shouldn't make attempts to sabotage those types of things. And yet, once again, I show you here we have Destiny accusing the serfs of directly funding terrorism. Now, I happen to know a couple of facts about this situation. Okay? And I've written some of it down because I thought it would be interesting to do a little, little quick segment on this, okay? Destiny's argument in the debate with Lance... And you can go check and see if I'm inaccurate in this. But I typed this out while I was listening to the actual debate. His argument is that Lance donated to a charity which is known as Islamic Relief Canada. This group pays licensing fees to a, another group which is called uh, Islamic Relief Canada. Um, IRW. God, I forgot the, ter the term right now off the top of my head. I wrote it down as IRW. Let me double check. Sorry. Islamic Relief Worldwide. And Islamic Relief Worldwide has had some level of, of critique, um, largely, interestingly, by far-right 
pro-Israel groups. And one of those far-right pro-Israel groups said uh, that um, Islamic Relief Worldwide at one point may have donated money to members of Hamas. And this was the justification by which Destiny defended saying that Lance was donating to Hamas, to terrorism. He accused someone of donating and funding terrorism worldwide. That is a very serious accusation. That is not a funny meme. That is not hyperbole. That is a very serious a allegation. And Lance did a lot of research to ensure that this was not the case. As it turns out, uh, Islamic Relief Canada is a separate organization that, than Islamic Relief Worldwide. However, they pay a very small amount of money in licensing fees for the name because it's a recognizable name. Now, that to me seems like a very big stretch in logic, like a really big stretch in logic. But Destiny was willing to jump right to this and continue doubling down. And so Lance went a step further. And you will be able to see this if you go watch the stream yourself. But Lance actually wrote to both of the organizations and received letters stating that none of the donated money would end up going to Islamic Relief Worldwide to be sure that no none of his money for the frivolous accusation of him funding terrorists would end up going to the group that had had any issues. Now that is a lot, a lot of extra work that somebody is putting into clearing their name. In fact, I would argue that that is a phenomenal level of trying to clear one's name. And let me remind you, they are trying to clear, that the serfs are trying to clear their name of a frivolous accusation that was based on, at best, um, circumstantial evidence. But let's be real. We know. We know why Destiny said that, don't we? We can never truly know someone's intentions. You can never read someone's mind. But when somebody constantly makes frivolous, hi hyperbolic statements about others, and actively engages in attempting to take down or damage their charity effort, I think that we've gotten to the point where somebody is going above and beyond uh, just engaging in drama mongering. This, in my opinion, is defamatory. Maybe that's not the right legal term, but it seems like, but, but I think you understand the concept. Yeah, libel is written, slander is spoken. So yeah, it would be libelous or or at the very least defamatory. And what he will always say is, oh, it's just hyperbole. Yes, there's also videos of Justin Trudeau, an explicit liberal, doing a promotion with IRC. They are assault, they are about as they are about as safe of a charity as you could possibly um as you could possibly go for. Oh, I know, people argued that. I don't think Destiny argued that himself. But I tore a new one out of Mike. And Destiny's really... Destiny's gone further than Mike has. Mike just... Mike just called Vosh a liberal and said that the charity effort was stupid. Destiny is actively spreading misinformation on a spurious and defamatory claim about another public figure, a colleague, who's trying to do charity. And what I've seen is an unbelievable amount of defense for Destiny. Just people bending over backwards to, find, to say, no, nah, he's just being, he's grounded his morals. Oh, he's being, uh, oh, he's so morally consistent. No, he's not. Fuck you. And fuck that. Are we, are we seriously at the point where we're just going to stand by while, while this fucking just toxic asshole spends time actually doing damage like lance look like even if you don't like even if you don't like lance you can go and watch that and see how much effort he put into clearing his name and destiny still won't walk it back and his fans don't care they will continue spreading this misinformation they will continue memeing about the serfs um uh, about the serfs donating to t terrorism 
And I think that's fucking terrible. And I have to wonder, why the fuck do people support somebody who does this? Why the fuck does anybody make excuses for this? That's fucking terrible. Because of spite. Because of his ego. He's trying to damage a charity thing. He could have chosen anything to cause drama with the surfs over. He does it all the time. But he chose to try and interrupt their charity effort. Come on. And it's funny because he spends a lot of time um, accusing people. Um, uh, he spends a lot of time accusing other people of doing damage to leftist causes. I mean, after all, he literally accused me of being harmful to progressive causes because I'm a bad trans. Because I don't, because in his mind, I, my optics are so bad that I'm actually dangerous to progressive causes. He's accused me of that. But let me ask you something. Have I ever shut down a charity? Have I ever shut down a charity using arguably slanderous accusations of contributing to terrorism, something that can truly damage someone's career? Have I have I whipped up my fan base into a, a misinformation, disinformation, delusional frenzy trying to destroy a, a, uh, a fellow content creator's career? No. The answer is no. Destiny. The, the arbiter of all things progressive, who is currently making attack helicopter tier jokes on Twitter and then deleting them so that his fan base never finds out and they can keep living in a sweet delusion that he's the smartest and nicest and most ground, morally grounded fella on the internet who's totally consistent and is never wrong and always, always argues perfectly. Come on. This is ridiculous. And it's unfortunate. Because... Again, you know, and, and and once again, I will state again, just earlier. Yeah, sure, I'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, uh, uh, just just a bit earlier, I was on a panel with uh, politically provocative, and one of the one of the super chatters asked me if I thought that Destiny was right wing and a transphobe, and I said, no, not really. But I don't know. I don't really know anymore. I mean, I don't know. When you start making attack helicopter jokes on Twitter, I mean, that's pretty definitionally, like, that's what we would identify. Anybody would identify that as transphobic, right? I don't know. I really try to be careful about those types of, al of accusations. I usually reserve them for people like Big Papa Fascist, who is an obvious transphobe. But, like... Guys, this is something else. And at, with regard to right wing, I mean, we've got going hard, going hard in defense of Israel just to spite the lefties. We've got his anti-left arc where he just really hates lefties. We've got him now making attack helicopter jokes online. He defended the trans panic uh, defense. Wouldn't that be essentializing? I don't think so. I think that it's not really essentializing once you get to a certain point of evidence. And I feel like, I don't know. Don't we feel, don't we feel like there's enough evidence at this point? If not for the transphobia, at least that he's, he's actively contributing to right-wing narratives just to spite lefties. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to shout about this is because I'm really tired. I'm really tired of just uh, fundamentally, not even selfish people, fundamentally toxic people. Destiny tears other people down. He burns bridges. He tries to ruin careers. He jockeys power. He's a he's a he's like Lord Farquaad. He like desperately wants to hold on to power and 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 push other people out of out of their out of his space because he wants to be the only one there. And it's unfortunate because it's gotten to the point where he's literally willing to attack charity efforts. He's will, literally willing to call someone a terrorist supporter just to try and prove a point. And again, this isn't some little dude. This isn't, Destiny isn't some little channel. He's the, he's one of the biggest channels in politics. 
and the serfs is one of the other ones and he's accusing them based on nothing of funding terrorism No, the bureau i don't think so anyway that's about all i have to say on this one i just really hope that people i i really hope that people can get out of that whatever whatever slavish nonsense gets them to to, to continue pretending that destiny is a, is a serious political person he wants to be the only debater left he thinks it's like the highlander well he's losing He's losing. He's losing that fight. Other people are doing better things. They're doing better, more creative, more productive things. All that he's doing, all that he's doing is tearing other people down. Other people that maybe he doesn't like, maybe they're not perfect people, but he's going after their charity efforts. For what? For what? To fuck so to fuck over some kids in the in the West Bank? Come on, that's so sad. What a sad what a sad what a sad period of time we found ourselves in and frankly i find it disgusting let's be real i find that fucking gross i just do i find that level of dishonesty and willingness to to slander another another content creator fucking sad so yeah can he be ignored and left behind, you think? Um, I don't know, actually. Destiny is so obnoxious. You know, like, again, uh, Destiny name drops me almost every single day. I know of people who watch his shows that, that, that message me every single time he brings me up on stream. The dude constantly brings me up. Now, I don't know. He might burn himself out of... He might piss off enough people that he, that he just can't build any bridges whatsoever. But this guy's obsessed. This guy drives hate. And again, thankfully, most of DGG is impotent and pathetic and sad. However, he has a lot of followers. He has a lot of slavish followers who will agree with anything that he says. Do I remember his dumb fuck criticism of Abigail Thorne? Yes, it was dumb fuck. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's a me review channel. Every time I'm doing something, he does it. He's covering it. Yeah, I don't know why it flickered there. That was a little weird. I got to figure out what the fuck is going on with that. I think I know what the issue is. Do I think Destiny will eventually turn on RGR? Destiny doesn't care about RGR. Like, I don't know what RGR was thinking. Destiny doesn't give a fuck about RGR. Destiny's never given a fuck about RGR. Hey, can you tell me the last time they talked when it wasn't about me? Anybody? Anybody? Anytime the last, anybody know the last time they talked when it wasn't about me? <laughs> I'd love to see it. It's not there. Destiny hates me more than he likes RGR. And yes, he only used RGR to get at me. And we all know it. Everybody knows it. What a sad, what a sad, strange turn of events. Yeah, he does. He, oh, 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 Destiny will always use weird parasocial shit like that. They went to Kenosha together? No, no, no. They went to Kenosha at the same time. They didn't go together. They went at the same time, and they took one picture together. That's like getting a picture with Bill Murray and being like, Bill Murray is my best friend. Oh, I know I am Destiny's most hated person on the left. He literally screamed at me, I hate your fucking guts so goddamn much, when we actually agreed on our ASMR takes. Fucker, I gave him an olive branch. He didn't even take it. Dude's, dude's fucking sad. 